Cspan and cspan.org, and listen on the free Cspan Radio app. And on Capitol Hill late on this Friday afternoon, former FBI Director James Comey just wrapping up his testimony behind closed doors with House Judiciary Committee members about the Mueller investigation. This comes as federal prosecutors in New York recommend substantial prison term for former lawyer to President Trump, Michael Cohen. The New York Times reporting that could be roughly four years. Lawmakers, meanwhile, in Washington spoke to reporters about Mr. Comey's testimony. Here's what they said. Does he refuse to answer any questions? He's refused to first the impression my impression that this is just a complete waste of time. Um, it, it's occurring right after the midterm elections where it's a number of days that they don't uh, no longer gonna have the gavels. So I think this is just a last minute, last ditch attempt to try to frame the, uh, the investigations that are going on and to undermine the investigations. A lot of their questions are trying to lead them down a path to add, answer specific questions about the investigation of um, the, the three or four people that were first targeted under the conspiracy to collude with the Russian with Russia regarding Trump's uh, election. So some of their questions are concerning to me because I feel like they're going down a path that they shouldn't be going down that oversteps the bounds of oversight. Um, I personally uh, believe that we need to ask these these questions, but I think that this is not um, has been done in the in the right way and has been done at the last minute. Um, what, what did you learn about the president's the internet? What did you learn about the president's has interaction? said you can't recall key documents in the Russia probe, including the document that opened the probe in July of 2016. They're, they're being very the FBI is sitting at the table and being very careful to pr uh, and prohibiting any answering of questions specific with um, but specifically Comey to the is Comey saying he couldn't remember these records I don't I can't recall uh, do you learn anything about the president's interactions with James Comey that led to the firing and the president's discussions with James Comey about specifically the Michael Flynn investigation uh, we did not get into that just yet. A lot of the questions were about the, um, were focused on kind of the bias of some of the FBI agents. Um, that's what the Republicans were focusing on. We also started trying to figure out, um, uh, that's a lot of their questioning was uh, based on that. What is the, what kind of bias should have these FBI agents, as you know, heard their names before, Peter Stroke and Lisa Page been involved with some of the actions that the FBI has taken. So Did he say the text messages were indications of bias? He, he did. Uh, he did not. He said. He said that. He said that there always has to be a, a question of appearance of bias, and that's something that he kind of stressed. Appearance is uh, something that is taken into consideration. But it's all. He was talking about a lot of different hypotheticals. Did he acknowledge any mishandling of the Clinton investigation or the Russia investigation? Uh, in 2016, did he acknowledge anything, doing anything wrong? Nothing that you haven't heard before. Uh, he, he stri uh, we pushed him on the fact that it seems that he treated the Hillary Clinton investigation differently than the Trump investigation, and um, he he says that he wouldn't have made any, uh, he wouldn't have done a different decision, but it, that, that's what he kind of came away with. But he, he does understand that it had big implications. You say he wouldn't have done anything differently? No. Is there anything that he didn't answer that you were surprised he wouldn't answer? Um, no, I actually, uh, I haven't seen anything I'm, I'm surprised that he didn't answer. He's been pretty forthcoming unless the FBI itself stepped in and said he couldn't answer that question. How often does that happen, Congressman? That the FBI counsel would step in if they don't answer? Not too many, maybe uh, four times. Uh, the FBI really didn't uh, step in. When the Democrats were asking the question so far, they haven't interfered once. Is there any discussion of leaks about details of the uh, uh, Clinton investigation or the FBI or the Russian investigation during, in, during the campaign? I can't remember. I was paying attention to the He said the Republicans were focused on bias, potentially, with FBI agents. So what were the Democrats focused on in your guys' line of questioning? Uh, I was focused on uh, taking the, 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 the track regarding bias. If bias is such a big deal, Let's look at the questions regarding uh, Bill Barr, who basically said he already wanted to reopen an investigation or that there would be justification to reopen an investigation of Hillary Clinton um, and, uh, and her time at, as Secretary of State. Um, also, that he was a Trump supporter. 
Um, so I focus on that line of questioning because if it's all biased, then what, what uh, responsibility does Bill Barr, if he gets uh, nominated and he becomes the Attorney General of the United States, have to recuse himself even if there is appearance of bias? And how did Comey respond? He, he said that we need to make sure that any appearance of bias um, that we move away from it, and that Bill Barr, if he determines that there has been an appearance, pr should probably uh, step away from the investigation. Say that Bill Barr determines himself that there's an yeah. any bias, he, that he's biased towards the Mueller probe, he yeah. should step aside. Um, but he also said that he has a lot of respect for um, Bill Barr. To be clear, is this another case of another attorney general that this president is nominating having to recuse himself from the investigation? We'll, we'll see what the, uh, the Senate asks, but uh, I think it might be. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Congressman Jimmy Gomez, California 34, Oversight Committee. Thank you, guys. I beg your pardon. I'll be glad to 